<laughs> now, continuing with the travel news, yes. MPs have called for PCR tests to be scrapped for the fully vaccinated after official data showed just four in a thousand bring COVID back to the UK. Only 0.4% of double jab Brits returning from abroad at the end of July had contracted the virus. This left travellers furious after prices for PCR tests rocketed, deterring thousands of travellers from jetting off this summer. We're joined by political commentator and journalist Bill Bokit. Bill, some MPs are calling to scrap PCR tests for the double jabbed. Is that right? Yes, they are. Um, Hugh Merriman, the uh, chairman of the Transport Select Committee, uh, is calling for PCR tests to be reduced, uh, as also is the Health Secretary, uh, Sadiq Javid, uh, for numerous multiple reasons. Because for Hugh Merriman, for instance, he says that the reason why PCR tests uh, in particular are so ludicrously expensive uh, is because of the 20% uh, value-added tax that is put uh, on PCR tests. Uh, whereas Sadiq Javid uh, kind of went on a, on a roll against uh, rogue providers who are overcharging uh, customers for PCR tests, some as much as £500 for one PCR test uh, to travel abroad. Why are they so expensive? What, what's the justification? Is it just quite blatantly a racket? Yeah, there's, no, there's a, a number of reasons. Uh, the first being uh, the providers themselves say it's the staffing and laboratory uh, fees. Obviously, there's been a high demand uh, for people buying PCR tests uh, in the month of August uh, and since May, uh, providers have made over £500 uh, million pounds, uh, in, in, in the funds made from it. But the other reasons, as I just mentioned, uh, are providers that are overcharging customers uh, and Sadiq Javid called in uh, the competition watchdog uh, to uh, get a rapid review on this issue. And then the other thing that I uh, said and I uh, hinted it in my CapEx piece that I wrote, uh, yesterday uh, is VAT um, firms calling for not uh, the, the charge to be scrapped as well as MPs such as Hugh Merriman, as I mentioned, and also the Liberal Democrats. Bill, it could be argued that we've gone test crazy and obviously as we increase the number of tests, the number of cases goes up and we're stuck in this vicious cycle of, of locking down because cases rise and, test case, and tests go up in return. Uh, not to, to disconsider the false positives as well in this argument. You know, that is very true. I mean, Heathrow Airport, for instance, have said that because PCRs are deterring, uh, you know, holiday, holiday goers from going abroad, there was a, a good survey uh, in opin opinion that showed just that, uh, that they actually think that they should follow the model of the United States and not just use uh, PCR tests, uh, but use lateral flow tests instead. They're much cheaper and they also bring back a, a faster result. But I do understand that there are arguments about strapping tests completely, uh, particularly for vaccinated uh, individuals as well. I wonder if one possible solution would be if the government was to cover the cost, then I'm pretty sure they'd find a quicker and cheaper way of providing the test. As you say, lateral flow is perfectly fine, I'm sure. Uh, what do you think? Do you think the government's likely to stump up for it? Well, for months now, um, providers have been calling for uh, VAT, as I mentioned, to be scrapped. And if, if it would, it would mean for a family of four, for instance, savings of between £40 and £240, uh, which is a massive amount, and it would easily cover uh, their, for instance, their return flights home back to the UK. Um, there have also been calls uh, for the government to pay for these uh, tests, and there were encouraging signs uh, where the government uh, last week said that they were going to cut the cost of NHS tests. Uh, but I was just curious as to see why they didn't cut it uh, for private tests, which are have been since January mandatory uh, for, for, for flying abroad. So th there are a couple of alternatives of, uh, and options that the government could have um, into this. And there's been multiple promises, like from Grant Shapps, uh, the Transport Secretary, saying that they're going to look into, into the issue. But as is, is in your previous segment, we're coming, you know, to the end of the holiday season uh, when it will start to die down. And especially that's disconcerting to the grounded uh, the aviation industry uh, who have suffered so much uh, during the pandemic. Bill, have there been questions raised about the quality of these tests? Because we've seen photographs and footage on social media of people sat in China on the floor putting these t tests together in a very unsterile environment. 
Yeah, they have. And, and the other problem as well, as I mentioned, with lateral flow tests, um, if, if it were to be done under the NHS system, for instance, uh, they, they could be easily frauded. Um, so they have been put into question uh, into the validity uh, of tests as well. Thank you very much for that, Bill. That's Bill Bokit, political commentator and journalist. And I can't figure out if that's a wine glass in the background, massive wine glass, or if it's a small <laughs> glass. I'm actually, I'm actually at, a, at a, a dog sitting, and it's a, it's a sculpture. It's not a, a wine glass. Can you hold it up for us? Maybe I might uh, fill it up for this bank holiday weekend. Thank you very much, Bill. Take care. <laughs> I love it. Um, look, get in touch with uh, what you think about that. Was it a sculpture? Was it a wine glass? Or perhaps you prefer to comment on some of the more serious stories of the day. Get in touch. GB News at GBNews.uk or you can tweet us at GB News.